Game day edits and graphics have become extremely popular on social media. Let's walk through step by step how to create this awesome game day edit for your team's social media page. The first step is to take the rectangle tool and click and drag across half of your canvas. Select the fill button and at the top of the screen, you're going to want to hit the color wheel. Now this is where you can select whatever color your team's logo is. For me, I'm going to use this shade of purple. Readjust your rectangle so it splits the canvas right down the middle. Click your rectangle layer and click the stroke button. Stroke is an outline you can put onto any shape that you put into Adobe Photoshop. We're going to use this as a divider for our background. You're going to want to choose a light gray color like this. And then we want to increase the size of the stroke so you can see it in the middle of the graphic design. Cool. Now insert your team's logo. Increase the size so it fits the entire canvas and then decrease the opacity to around 5%. Next, go up to Image, Adjustments, and then Black and White. While you're in here, the goal is to make the majority of your team's logo white. The adjustment that I make to my logo will be different than the adjustment that you guys will make to your logo. So what you're gonna have to do is move these sliders left or right to see what parts you wanna turn black and what parts you wanna turn white. If you move the slider to the right, you're turning that color white. If you move the slider all the way to the left, you're turning that color black. Drag in this background and I'll leave a link in the description so you guys will have it. And we're gonna change the blend mode to soft light. Decrease the opacity so you can barely see the effect in the background. You next are gonna insert your main player image and we're gonna add extreme details and a couple extra effects. This is one of the most important parts of this design so make sure you listen closely. Place your player image in the center of the graphic. Right click on this layer and hit duplicate layer. Click the top layer and go up to image adjustments and we're going to hit black and white. Make your player skin look a little bit darker by decreasing the reds as well as the yellows. Next, let's change the blend mode to soft light and you can see the enhanced shadows that we have now created. If the effect is too strong for you, simply decrease the opacity. You can see the before and here's the after. Select the bottom layer and go up to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. In the Basic tab, we're going to increase Contrast, Highlights, Shadows, and Blacks, but decrease the Whites. A couple other adjustments I like to make are adding Clarity, increasing Dehaze, and increasing Sharpening. You can see what it looks like before and after using Camera Raw Filter. Right or Control click this layer and we're going to duplicate it. Bring this layer to the very top and go up to Filter, Other, and then High Pass Filter. Next, let's change the blend mode to soft light. This adds extra sharpening to our game day graphic design. This is really one of my favorite effects to add to my designs. Now let's merge all these layers together, create a new blank layer and create a clipping mask by right clicking and hitting create clipping mask. Now we're going to add a shadow to our main player image. Select the paintbrush tool and paint back with the color black with a low hardness level. This will give you a nice shadowy effect. You're going to do the exact steps for the left side of your player's body, but with the color white. This creates a highlight effect, and this is a must have for this design to look really good. You guys will see later on in the video, but what I'm doing is I'm keeping one side of my graphic light and the other side of my graphic dark. This is a must have because of the game day split color text. This is what it looks like without any shadows, and here's what it looks like with shadows. Now let's import our text. This can be done by hitting the T on the toolbar to the left and then clicking inside your canvas. For this design, I'm using the font called Quick Starter, but you can use whatever font you guys think looks good. If you are using a smaller font like I am, you're gonna wanna listen to this really closely. Right or control click and make your text layer a smart object. Click on one of the white rectangles so that you can right click and go to distort. If you drag the top rectangle towards the top of your graphic, it's going to stretch your text out. Duplicate this layer and go up to Image Adjustments and Hue and Saturation. Hit Colorize and move the saturation and lightness until you have your desired color. For me, I'm going to use my background color of purple. Click the Pen tool and you're going to click on the top of your text and then on the bottom of your text to create a straight line. You can simply click all around your text right click and then hit make selection then hit the layer mask button and you should have something that looks like this if you want the other side of your text purple you can go to image adjustments and then select invert this next part is important to the overall look of the graphic scroll down to your player image layer and create a duplicate like we just learned how to 
Bring the duplicate layer to the very top of the graphic and we're going to switch the blend mode to lighten. This creates an awesome look within the letters of the game day text. If you take a close look at your graphic, your shadows are actually gone. So what we're going to have to do is create a layer mask in order to get them back. This can be done with your layer selected. Hit the layer mask button and then you're going to select your black brush and you're going to paint on to erase this top layer. This is going to reveal your shadows that you had made in the previous step. In this next step, we're going to put together the text and signature that make up the majority of the graphic. For the bottom portion of the graphic, create this rectangle and we're going to click on the corners and then right click and change the perspective. We're going to use two of these, so duplicate the rectangle and align it to the original. Insert your team's logo and create a clipping mask by placing the logo above one of the rectangles and right click and go to create clipping mask. Click on your rectangle layer and hit the effects button and select stroke. You want to put a white stroke onto both rectangles. If you all are enjoying today's video, please drop a like for me. If you have any questions so far, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you with a quick response. The text spacing is also a unique part of this design. This can be done by highlighting your text and going up to window and then selecting character. If you want to use the same font as me, I'm using the font aliens and cows. Once you're in this window, select the horizontal alignment of your text. The smaller this number is, the smaller it is between the letters. For this graphic, I'm going to be using 250. Let's go over a unique trick on how to take a signature off of any object. For this example, I'm going to be using this cue ball. Go up to select and then color range. You want to make sure you're working in the shadows option and then hit OK. This is going to highlight everything darker within your graphic. Now you can press the layer mask button to erase the rest of the cue ball. Invert your mask by pressing Command I and then insert a solid color layer of white. Create another clipping mask with this white layer in order to fill the signature. The final step is what really makes this graphic stand out. First, insert a color lookup. We're going to choose the lookup Futuristic Bleak and reduce the opacity to around 50%. Insert your second color lookup and this is going to be Fuji 2395. And you're going to want to keep that around 70% opacity. Create another adjustment layer, and this time we're going to create a curves adjustment. If you take the top of your curve and move it up, it gives you a brighter look to the entire graphic. You can see the drastic difference with the before and the after. I decided to add some of my custom overlays from my Patreon to this design. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check that out. Next, hit Shift, Alt, and Command E to create a single layer of the entire graphic. Go up to Filter and then Camera Raw Filter. And I recently learned this, but if you have a design that red, orange, and yellow are not the main colors of the graphic design, you can decrease those in order to create a black and white effect on the player's skin. It's a really unique trick that I recently learned and I wanted to share with you guys. If you're using red, yellow, or orange as your main colors for the graphic, no problem. Check out this next video to show you how you can create black and white skin without changing the entire graphic scheme. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.